Hydrogen has emerged as a promising alternative energy carrier to its clean combustion and potential to mitigate climate change. However, efficient and safe storage methods are crucial for the widespread adoption of hydrogen-based technology. That's why, in today's video, we will talk about the hydrogen storage. Hydrogen storage play a crucial role in decarbonization, particularly in managing the intermittency of renewable energies. Excess energy from intermittent sources like solar and wind can be converted in hydrogen through electrolysis and stored for later use. And of course, several methods of hydrogen storage have been developed, each with its own advantages and challenges. In this video, we will briefly explore five leading methods of hydrogen storage. Compressed gas, cryogenic hydrogen, hydrogen absorption, metal hydrides, and chemical hydrides. One of the most straightforward methods of hydrogen storage is compressing it into a gaseous state. Hydrogen gas is stored at high pressures, typically around 350 to 700 bar in specially designed tanks. While this method is simple and well-established, it presents challenges related to the energy-intensive compression process and the need for a robust and heavy storage containers. In addition, certain safety concerns arise due to the high pressures involved. However, we will talk more about this in next videos. Cryogenic hydrogen storage involves liquefying hydrogen at extremely low temperatures, typically below minus 250 degrees Celsius. In this state, hydrogen becomes dense and occupies significantly less volume than in its gaseous form. Cryogenic storage systems are more energy efficient compared to compressed gas storage, but they require sophisticated insulation to maintain low temperatures and prevent hydrogen to boil off. The cryogenic method is commonly used in the aerospace industry for rocket propellants. Adsorption-based storage relies on the ability of certain materials, such as activated carbon or metal organic frameworks, to absorb hydrogen molecules onto their surfaces. These methods allow for moderate storage pressures and avoid the challenges associated with high-pressure storage. However, the adsorption process is influenced by temperature and pressure conditions, and finding materials with suitable adsorption characteristics remains a challenge. In addition, by using these materials, the total energy density of hydrogen decreases. Then, the metal hydrides involve a chemical reaction of hydrogen with metals to form solid compounds. The hydrogen is released by heating the metal hydride, and the metal can subsequently absorb hydrogen during cooling. Although metal hydrides can store large amounts of hydrogen, challenges include the weight of the metal hydride compounds and the need for optimal temperature control during cycling. The cyclability, meaning the absorption and release of hydrogen, has also significant limitations. Common chemical hydrides include ammonia compounds and sodium borohydride. These compounds release hydrogen through various chemical reactions, triggered by heat or other stimuli. Chemical hydrides offer the advantage of a stable storage condition and the potential for high hydrogen density. However, challenges include safety and addressing the byproducts generated during the release process. The quest for efficient and safe hydrogen storage method is critical for aspects of advancing hydrogen-based technology. Each storage method has its own set of advantages and challenges, and ongoing research focuses on addressing these issues to make hydrogen a viable and a scalable energy carrier. As technology continues to evolve, a combination of these storage methods or the emergence of novel approaches may pave the way for a hydrogen-powered future. In upcoming episodes, we will explore other aspects involved in the sustainable future, so don't miss it. 